morning. How's it going? We're leaving uh, Bangkok right now. It's about 5.30 in the morning. And uh, I am feeling pretty good. And that's saying a lot because yesterday I was not feeling good. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was something I ate. But my fever went up. I was sweating like crazy. I was, I was letting loose out of all ends. It was not cool. I was worried it was going to carry over till today, but it turned out to just be like a 24-hour bug. Whew, thank God. There's a city bus back there. It has no lights on. It's still pretty dark. You should have your lights on. Yeah, I'll be back to Bangkok real soon, actually, a couple of days, because i got to catch a flight back to China from here, uh, from the airport here in Bangkok. And then, after I finish my things in USA and China, I'll be back to Bangkok again, and then make my way to Hua Hin to continue the tour. Uh, I think when I return that second time, I'll stay in Bangkok for a week or something, meet with uh, YouTubers, meet with people I wanted to connect with. I kind of uh, wasn't able to squeeze as much from Bangkok as I wanted to in this time, but I knew that I'll have another time, so that'll be good. Actually, yesterday I was sick, and I had intended to hang out with Leo, who came from China all the way here just to see me. I kind of felt bad. I was supposed to hang out with my friend, but instead I was curled up in bed, sweating. I should have a good exit here from Bangkok. Uh, it's about six o'clock, rush hour is gonna start in a couple of hours and everybody's gonna be coming into the city, but I am going out, so it should be able to look over, I, sh I should be able to look over to the other side of the road and see uh, massive traffic carnage whereas I should have relatively light traffic that's the thought that is the plan Fast forward to the afternoon, it's 1.44. We have accomplished 116 kilometers. I was estimating that today I would go 100 kilometers and tomorrow I'd go another 100 because it's basically 200 even to Hua Hen. And uh, it's in Hua Hen where my friend Randy has a house and he's offered his garage to store the trike and then I'm gonna turn around, go back to Bangkok, and then fly back to uh, Ningbo and then the USA and spend a few months uh, off tour doing family stuff. But I feel pretty good. And the sky is overcast, cloudy. And man, oh man, that makes things a lot easier. When I don't have to worry about uh, clouds, the heat just is not an issue like it normally is. And I'm feeling pretty good. I'm trying to remember when my last 200 kilometer day was. I think maybe it was, maybe it was Japan. I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. The dogs get spooked by me. Anyways, I think it was Japan. Pretty uneventful ride, flat road, which makes it really easy to put down the distance I need to. So I'm just gonna plug along Every 10 or 15 kilometers or so, I'm stopping at a place, getting some water, and I'm moving on, but as long as there's no sun baking me, uh, my body is strong enough to keep going. I'm glad that yesterday's sickness has, uh, has dissipated. I had a, like I said, I had a rough day yesterday. I saw a cluster of monkeys a little while back, uh, like a whole bunch, like about 100 of them. 
I thought maybe it was the beginning of uh, a new segment of, of Thailand with a lot of monkeys, but I think it was just one maybe Buddha area or monk temple or something where maybe they take care of the monkeys so they congregated there but I haven't seen any since so anyways that's fine just keep on keeping on 25 kilometers left until we've hit the 200 mark I haven't hit 200 in a while but my knees are already a little bit sore they're not used to pushing it this far but the but the streets are flat and that makes a big difference I'm really excited to get to my friend's house. I have some laundry to do. He's, I know him, and I'm sure his, his house is going to be very comfortable. And I'm excited. He's, he's not home, but uh, we've been, we're good friends. So uh, I've been looking forward to hanging out with him at his house. Unfortunately, he's not here, but he's left me the house. I'm gonna leave tomorrow anyways and head back to Bangkok and get ready for my flight back to Ningbo. But in getting ready for my flight, oh, here's a dog. What's up, buddy? What's up? But in getting ready for my uh, flight back to Ningbo, I have been thinking and thinking and thinking about what I need to take back. Because I, last time I went back, I was in Ho Chi Minh and I forgot to take back all this, all this heavy stuff, all this heavy winter stuff. Too many, too many pieces of clothing. Like, I have, I'm in my bag right there. I have like a down jacket. I won't need a down jacket. Jeez, I don't know if I'll need a down jacket for a year or so on the on the tour. Maybe Australia, Southern Australia, I need a down jacket in the, in the nighttime, in the winter. But among that, I've got these heavy shoes, those hiking shoes I bought. I haven't been doing a lot of hiking. Just a lot of stuff that takes up a lot of space that I can take back and get rid of. Uh, check out those trees. That is a beautiful tree. A lot of these, a lot of these uh, flowering trees here. Really, really pretty. Makes this uh, road really nice. Actually, it's quite nice. Earlier, there was like a trench here that was full of sewage water. Ugh, it was not nice. But now the sewage water is gone and the flowers are here. It's good stuff. Anyways, uh, there's a bunch of tools like some of the big heavy uh, fittings that I use to take off some of the things on the roll off I don't need to carry them around with me I can send them back to Ningbo but know that I have them and if I do need to make a change in a few years or whatever I can get them pretty quick but there's no sense in me lugging around big heavy chunks of metal which is basically what they are so uh, yeah good stuff I've also been building a, uh, a gift list for myself for when I go back to the USA on Amazon.com. New lenses for my glasses. You know those, those Oakleys I wear are expensive glasses. But you can buy replacement lenses for them for like 20 bucks. Oh, the amount of money I wasted on glasses that were, that were scratched and I ended up throwing away. Now I can just get replacement lenses. So I got a couple of pairs of replacement lenses, uh, new brake lever, a, a new uh, new wiring for my roll-off speed hub. I'm gonna replace the wiring when I come back to the road. What else, a new braking system. I am gonna switch my braking system from the BB7s. Uh, it's a uh, dual compression system. So the, the brakes put pressure on the on the disc by, by both both sides. The BB7s only work one side. I've had a debate on that one for a long time and a lot of people have said that the BB7s are mechanically simple and therefore great for long scale touring. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna buy the calipers and new rotors and uh, I'll just buy six or seven sets of uh, pads so I'll never have to worry about pads. I don't think it'll be too difficult to find those pads. I've seen them in in bike shops all over. So 
I think it'll be an interesting thing to do because I've been frustrated with my brakes and I like to try new things, so it'll be nice. What else do I got? What else did I buy? Lots of little things. Oh, I think I'm gonna pick up the, the upgraded ride computer, the Garmin Edge uh, 1030. So I'm excited about that. Just a lot of like little things. And you know, I don't know if you guys have watched my live streams, but I haven't had the little doohickey that attaches my phone to my uh, tripod stand and uh, selfie stick or whatever. So I bought a couple of those. They're very, very light. They're made out of plastic with a little metal fitting on the bottom. They're good quality. So I'll buy two of those, knowing that eventually I'll lose one and I'll keep the other one safely tucked away somewhere. So before I go back to China, I think my friend's house is equipped with a scale. And so I want to weigh everything, my, my bike, my trike, my bags and everything. Hi. Whoop. One of my tricks with the dogs, especially on these roads, is the dogs know not to go into the street. I'm sure they've seen a, a friend or foe lose his life in the street, and so they've, they've learned not to go in. So they'll run up along this side, and if I just shift over and get really close to the edge, they can't figure out how to get there, and they won't, they won't, no matter how angry they are, they, they'll never go to the inside. They'll always stay to the outside, and I kind of squeeze them out, and they just give up. Good technique, good technique. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna weigh the trike, and then I'm gonna weigh all the stuff I'm carrying back, and uh, that don't intend to bring back to the tour. I have a feeling I can shed quite a lot of weight. There's a whole bunch of stuff I have that I thought I was gonna need, eh, but not really. Anyways, we've got, uh, I think we've been talking for about five kilometers, to be honest, which is great. So I think we've got about 20 left. I'll catch up with you later when we get to my friend's house and I decompress a little bit. But yeah, by the time we get to my friend's house, it should be 200K on the nose. Very odd that it's actually, it, it should be 200, according to all my calculations. So let's see how close we can get to that. I'm very curious. Ladies and gents, we have 201 kilometers finished. I'm at front my friend's house. I'm gonna settle in. Not a bad day, not a bad 200 plus day. Normally I come in on a day I do 200 plus, it's dark, dark, dark. But not dark here, as a matter of fact, I can still see the doggies. Hi, hi. Somebody wants to play ball, Spud wants to play ball. All right, so I'm in my friend's garage and I did something that I've been wanting to do. I talked to you about it earlier. I weighed everything. And uh, interesting, very interesting, because I remember when I was fully loaded and I had the trailer, I was about 240, 250 kilos with my body included. It was totally the total weight. Hell, my trailer was like 80 kilos, if I remember correctly. Uh, but now the trike is 33.1 kilos. My baggage, um, I just add it all up, uh, is uh, uh, 33.1 kilos. Um, so you add the trike and my bags and it's 63.9 kilos. You add my weight, which is like 96.2 kilos with my uh, sweaty clothes. So I'm probably at like 95.8 or something. Anyways, add my sweaty self and it's a ride weight of about 160 kilos, including me. So, that's pretty cool, right? 